Yet again, I am Professor Bushra Ansari with another session for your Unit 4 International HRM Friends and Challenges. So, if you remember, in the previous session, we were discussing about business ethics. something to do with how good your business is, something to do with how you are like uh, getting into an ethical form, absolutism, relativism, universalism, everything. Same way, today we are talking something very relative. If you like happen to read your book, you'll realize that your unit 4 is talking something about very things which are like quite common for you in your knowledge base. So when you look at your this part of session, when you hear me out, you will understand that we are talking about global values. Now, suddenly when you talk about rules, regulations, right, wrong in terms of ethics, how can we leave values behind? These values like that of uh, humanity, like that of your, say, uh, uh, kind of uh, say helping someone helping the nature and so many different things so if I start asking you the values that you have learned we have morality right integrity loyalty so many so many things now these values when you talk about or when you look from uh, say global perspective they remain the same it's not like that the definition of loyalty is going to change when you go to US but yes these values meaning remain same but the whole applicability and acceptability changes from country to country let me let me tell you some weird laws that you that are there around the world if you happen to go and say look at your uh, some some videos around on youtube also you will see there are some certain very weird laws one of them is in milan what what they have is you're supposed to smile. If you don't smile, they'll charge you a fine of $100. Except for being in hospitals and at funeral, you are supposed to smile. That means how much important for them is to remain happy even in your mind. So even if you are upset, you need to smile. That's forcibly they are making you feel good. Another law, when you look at uh, another countries out there, there is this very, very, say, very weird, I should say. In Switzerland, post 10 o'clock, you cannot flush your toilets. Sounds very stupid, no? But they think that, uh, like, the, the noise is more like that of a noise pollution. So, you cannot use that. Now, that's very weird, actually. Not very much enforced, but then still. So, understanding the fact that these values of honesty, integrity or whatever it may be or, or helping the nature. Now, here in India, if we talk about, we, we talk about air pollution, noise pollution, so many things. I'm not diverting, but the, the thing is, the same thing when you go to Australia, New Zealand, you find that, oh, it's looking so beautiful, oh, it is so well managed. But then do we really know the population? Do we really know? The, the number of people living there in that area and how the ecosystem has survived and sustained. So these values of uh, any kind of thing I am adding on or I am looking at from the country perspective and it will from country to country and that's why United Nations came up with this four uh, very important or you could say uh, the thing which which is there on the slide we talk about your international peace your humanity your sustainable development your independence these values as the most important global values now it's not like that other values are not important but the fact is these values are say applicable and make sense or it's like a universal thing for everyone out there 
so when you talk about your say uh, a piece you're talking about it, it's something you require anywhere and everywhere it's not like that i go out on the roads of new york and i i shout i pick up fights not necessary a fight is a fight no matter where you go same goes with humanity if, if i can do some kind of a charity here in india i can do it in any other country as well the definition is not going to change nor the emotions associated with this going to change sustainable development something which you have already studied in your environmental management and at the same time something which you already know that it's it's about me using a resource but then making sure it's available for the next generation and other people as well so it's not like that i go out and drive on the or say roads of uh, us or say in middle east and then i say okay middle east has got the maximum crude oil production so i can waste the oil how does that matter it does matter because at the end of the day it's a natural resource you need to be like having it for rest of the people also and then the last thing that we talk about in these global values independence you need to understand that you are there or you are no matter what you should be self sufficient enough now these things are not like that okay you don't have other values but then these things are counted as your first second third fourth like rating kind of thing by union the united nations moving further when you talk about values there is something we need to talk about which goes against the values so let's let's talk about something known as bribery now what's bribery the moment i say you start thinking about corruption you start thinking about oh all right so it's like under the table how do you uh, pay and how do you they do these things doing these things now what happens it's a very small concept in your book where we are talking about impact of bribery bribery is an act where i pay an additional amount unofficially to an individual so that i can get my work done without any hassle now this is not a bookish definition i'm just trying to tell you and explain you what exactly bribery is so same way when you look at uh, the impact of this bribery on global level imagine now it's not like that bribery is not existing anywhere in the world so more or less you will find something or the other happening in all the countries so just like that the impact of bribery involves say some kind of monopolistic attitude now every single thing if i go and get the authorities to approve my work i am only going to survive in the market no? i am going to say the, the profit element it changes the, the whole image of the company changes the whole impact of the uh, say rules and regulation changes if i am into bribery why would i even follow the rules i would manipulate the rules according to my will so these small or big thing happening out there in the context of bribery it's going to create or it's going to give you a more kind of a say a image where you think okay if this is what is happening it's, it's the same everywhere we sitting back here in india we keep on complaining and cribbing about this system we really don't know i mean just to tell you one of the like videos on the social media a fellow he was yelling at the peak of his volume saying that one of the country which recently had uh, quite a huge damage done it it has got almost uh, like uh, 80 85% of corruption happening so see it's not like we are complaining about our own country it happens everywhere out there it's just that we don't see we don't get to see and we feel that we are at the worst condition that's the impact of bribery hope this topic was very much clear and relatable to you thank you for watching